Hey guys, gonna do a quick chicken update. There ain't much going on besides getting lots of eggs, but uh, I was gonna do an update on them. Um, I have about 30 laying hens, 29 of those being big frame, one rooster, which is right here in the corner, and one little banny that's over there. Um, but I was gonna show you before I let them out, because I'm about to let them out. Uh, chickens are really destructive, and so mine free range, but they only free range in the afternoon from about, it's about four o'clock here, about three, four o'clock, I let them out. And then, of course, they put themselves up at night. Uh, I had to put this piece of board here because the sheep are scratching off their wool on this bucket, which is my new door because the sheep broke the door because they're such wonderful creatures. Anyways, another story, another video. But, um, and so I have to put this here. That way, if they rub, they don't do the bucket. And so, and then I usually just open the door so they don't fight over coming out. Though. Come on, chicks. Come on. And then they'll go do their thing, go eat grass, and go enjoy themselves for a while. I have Bard Rock, which are these, Production Red or Rhode Island Red. I'm not sure what they were, but they're beautiful red hens. Uh, my last uh, Red Ranger is that hen right there. The the rooster is a uh, black sex link, which he's done really good with these hens. Real docile. And then, of course, I have the white leghorn I got in a trade. Uh, but they're doing great. One, two, three, four, five. I need to count them all. It looks like I don't have enough white leghorns left. Uh, to double check those their pen is a mess right now but that's just because we've just got three inches of rain um, but I have to go get the eggs some of them lay in this little dog house <laughs> they want in the barn they think they have to go to the barn first they're awful there's a sheep we'll do that in another video they're doing great they're just mad at me because I haven't fed them yet I'm making this video instead of feeding them let me take this bucket out so they can go back up tonight when it's time. We'll just all go back up in there. They have both these pins. They have both 16 by 16 or 16 by 20. They have this pin and this pin here. Um, and like I said, they're a little messy because it's been raining and there's no grass because they eat it all. And then they roost up here on these bars and lay me lots of pretty eggs, which I just gathered earlier. And they're wet because i got to get more hay in there. But I gathered 14 earlier, so that looks like i got about 20 today which is fine but that's the chickens and they get uh i used to throw the scratch out for them to eat and uh the but wild birds was getting more than i was getting than the chickens were getting so now they have a scratch here and then this is a corn and milo base but as you can see they like the milo more than the corn um and so that's what they eat and this is laying pellets but that's a chicken update not that anybody cares, but I was going to give you one in case anybody out there does like chickens. They're doing wonderful and giving me lots of eggs. I'm doing a lot of trading for different stuff with the eggs. Uh, or selling them. They're going for $2.50 a dozen and stuff's skyrocketing. You can't get, um, you cannot get uh, eggs for almost that price at the, the grocery store anymore. It's crazy. Organic eggs are $5 a dozen. Now it's crazy. But, um, and so I could go three, three fifty a dozen and on new people I do, but I have a lot of old customers that get so many dozen a week and you don't want to burn out those customers cause those are your bread and butter, bread and butter that stay with you. I got a few new yous, um, but this is in the sheet video, but I'll tell you anyways, and I'll tell you again in the sheet video, got a few yous in a package thing and there's five of them all together and I'm going to wait till they shed off. I think they may be half wool, half hair. So we'll see how good they sh uh, sh shear off, uh, how, shh, it's not correct word, show, show, how easy they lose their hair, how's that, we'll make it, uh, archified, and, uh, then go in that direction just to see which ones I'm going to keep, they're all solid mouth use, so they're all four to five years old, uh, but they're doing wonderful, I have a couple that are about to pop again, that had babies in December, so that's awesome, by popping, I would say they have one or two more months, um, and so that's really cool, if I have more babies, I'll, I'll let you know. And I'll do a video on, on the sheep in a little bit. But this is supposed to be the chickens time. So the chickens are doing great. Uh, didn't get any chicks this year. Uh, really busy year for chicks. The supplier that I usually get them for in bulk because nobody would buy them. Uh, couldn't keep up with the supply. People wanting to raise their own chickens, which is a good thing. That's, that's awesome. Um, but this is eventually going to be the chicken tractor or rabbit tractor, whatever. It's going to be a small thing that can be moved around the yard over there those poles are going to be the future rabbit summer place but as it's going to be 34 degrees tonight in northwest arkansas <laughs> i'm not quite to summer yet um but i'll quit talking now and rambling but hope everybody's doing great 
and everything's going good here now. The grass is finally growing faster than the sheep can eat it. Um, garden, some of it's planted. Once again, I'm roaming all over. But the garden's over there. I uh, have tomatoes planted. Green beans have come up and uh, planted some cucumbers so far. And the uh, all the peppers and stuff are coming in. In the next couple days, I'll get them in the ground. But all righty, y'all have a wonderful night. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.